Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? All good. Good. Today's video, guys, I am going to share to you my... <laughs> What's in my clinical bag? I always find myself in this situation where doc the doctors will borrow my pen and then, syempre, nahiya kang sabihin na, oh, that's my pen and you did not give it back to me. These ones are very comfortable and I believe that they will last for a long time. We deserve nothing but the best. So thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all feeling good and feeling motivated, positive, ready to take on the week, excited with life, excited with what's going on, um, even, there's not, if, even if there's nothing going on. So um, for today's video guys, a bit different because we're not going to interview anybody and there's no other guest but me, only me. And I want to share to you what's in my clinical bag. So, ito yung mga bagay na dinadala ko sa work. Whether it's for with my permanent job or my agency shifts. So, without further ado, let's proceed with the vlog. Magsisimula pa lang kayo dito sa Ireland eh, or papunta pa lang kayo. Um, magkaroon kayo na idea what are the things that is essential in your clinical bag. These might be the same sa... Um, what you're bring, already bringing in the hospital. These, but personally, this is what I bring every day. So first of all, pakitin natin yung bag. The bag is from Figs. It's a tote bag. Yan yun lang siya. Open bag lang siya. Meron lang siyang button. Is, there is a button here. Uh, not button. What is this? What do you call this one? Meron siyang para magnetic um, button there. My bag is a little bit um, cluttered. I consider this my clinical bag because I only use it for work. So recently guys, I designated one bag for a particular purpose. This one is for like mga study days, for like um, seminars or whatever. So I have a workout bag which I take um, to the gym with me for um, shoots or when I'm vlogging outside or when I'm traveling outside while doing the vlogs so this is the one and bag for hiking so this one is from regatta let's open the clinical bag and see what is inside one by one it's a pocket a small pocket here on the side and and then a big and then there is a key holder there and that's it so first of all let's go inside uh, this the small pocket here so guys, I bring sanitizer, highlighters. These are highlighters are important when you're doing handover, and you want to highlight, you know, some important things. Um, it's handy to have that. Another thing here is the calculator, small calculator, the size of my palm. Very important, especially when you're working in the ICU, uh, where there's a lot of drag calculations, and you don't have the access to your phone because it's far away or it's not allowed. So it's important to have, to bring a calculator with you. I have tape, um, just a normal tape, more highlighters, different color, Sharpie. You cannot go to the battlefield, which is your um, unit or your workplace without a weapon. The most important weapon that you will have, is not your brain, but the pens. I think pens are really important, um, especially for nurses, because without it, if you're using the paper um, documentation, if you're not electronic yet, or even if you're electronic, I think pens are really, really important. See, sometimes, guys, the doctors will steal your pens, and that's a fact. So I always find myself in this situation where doc the doctors will borrow my pen, and then, syempre, nahiya kang sabihin na, oh, that's my pen, and you did not give it back to me. They will forget, or they will pretend, or they will forget that it's your pen. So they will walk away with your pen. Don't be shy to tell them, doctor, you have my pen. Can I have it back? Another thing is this one, which is a, it's working, but it's a little bit, 
it's a pen light um, in the ICU or sometimes in the recovery room because now I'm working with anesthesia care unit sometimes I, I need this for vascular patients to check their pupils so that's handy to have and this type of pen there is a pupil size guide which is useful so a uh, hand balm I have a breath freshener because sometimes you know it's um, a cologne Jo Malone um, Mir and Tonka cologne intense this is very nice uh, my colleagues like this when I spray it on me mm. so here right here which is the main compartment I have a few stuff first of all my uniform guys I bring my own uniform but in some departments like for example in theater you have your scrub machine which is where you will get your uniform every day and also in the ICU there's a scrub machine the scrubex I think it is called scrubex well it will dispense uniform for you so you don't have to bring them from home um, for infection control purposes so this uniform as well um, is from it's from figs as well I just recently bought these guys before um, binili ko lahat ng scrubs ko from the Philippines which is very very cheap from Bambang Bang Bang um, which is like maybe I don't know 300 each pair but these ones are very comfortable and will last for a long time they are on the pricier side but we deserve nothing but the best this is not sponsored I really love the texture of the scrubs it's stretchable as well and the pants as well are cuffed which um, prevents them from being you know dirty so it will stay above your shoes my um, ID Ooh, so guys my ID is I cannot show you my ID kasi yung pangit niya. but this um, ID lace um, which I got from Amazon I really love it and most of my colleagues who sees this loves this as well it's an LGBT inspired um, ID lace and it says there nurse oh so we are down to the last few stuff and chewing gum I have a few um, um, Siyempre for emergency, kapag medyo pause-pause ka na, I have a Ted Baker spray in my bag, which is... May lalaki. May lalaki siya. Bango. You have to bring sweets. I don't know about you, but me, I'm a lover of sweets, of chocolates, and um, there are a lot of times where I feel really hypoglycemic na walang time mag-break kasi busy pa so um, I have to have like chocolates in my bag I bring a book with me so guys because now I am working in a different unit I'm working in post anesthesia care unit a lot of things to learn um, to read about so this book is post anesthesia care symptoms diagnosis and management by James W. Heights Heights so I'm a believer of um, educating yourself. Um, you know, there's only so much that your preceptors or your managers or your facilitators can teach you in a day or you know in at the hospital. Put yourself down for study days, put yourself down for courses. Guys, here the courses are free. If you're working, uh, sometimes, you know, even the private hospitals will sponsor you for your study. Uh, for your I have been in so many study days, guys. Ngayon, wala na akong, hindi ko na siya matandaan. Na sobrang dami nang inatandaan ko. I forgot all of them already. So, what I can share to you is that learn a new thing every day. Like, in the shift, if you encounter something that you don't know, write it down or put it in your Google uh, search. And then when you get home, um, learn about it, search about it, so that the next time you encounter it, you encounter it, you know it already. And then if you do this every day or every other day, you will be surprised on how much how much knowledge or maybe skills you will learn um, in a span of like a week or a month. Teach yourself every day if you can. 
it's very important. It's a simple toiletry bag where I put my toothpaste or toothbrush, mouthwash, more hand cream, facial wash. So I also have the lip balm. This is from Nivea, Nivea Watermelon Shine. You know, because here, guys, sa Ireland, uh, lahat mga crack sa yun, lahat skin, hands, mga crack yung skin sa hands, mga crack yung lips because it was very cold most of the time. So you need um, lip balms and all the balms that you can get. The last last items, items, two items in my bag, which is also a must that you have to bring. No matter what. This I got from a company that I found on Instagram. It's called Mimo Bottle. I don't know if you can see. It's called Mimo Bottle. They are a startup company on Instagram and I really loved it. When I first bought it, it's just this um, transparent kind of flask. Um, later on, I bought the sleeve which is this color. It matches my uniform and I know that we are already a bit So, yeah. So yeah, so it's important guys to hydrate yourselves. I know as nurses we don't hydrate or we don't drink water as much as we have to hydrate ourselves, especially when we're up on our feet 13 hours, 14 hours a day. We forget a lot of things. Sometimes we forget to eat when we're busy in our shifts. Coffee mug. So coffee mug? What do you call it? Coffee mug, right? It's better if you bring a coffee mug with you and bring your own coffee because if you buy coffee for example in Costa or Starbucks every day it will be costly so it's from Chili Chill Chili Chili Chill I don't know and it's um, um, so I have the coffee inside which is Nescafe 3-in-1 coffee um, for me I love this um, I love this thing because it keeps me awake um, most of the time, but I have to include another item that is f uh, very important, which is my shoes. This is my duty shoes, which is from Hoka. I research online and it's one of the nicest shoes. Um, it's like you're walking on a cloud. So hard that we are all working so hard and that we're on our feet all the time. And I, in my opinion, we have to have the most comfortable shoes the most comfortable um, uniform. It's literally blood and sweat every day at the workplace. So we deserve nothing but the best. We deserve to be fed. We deserve to be. We deserve to be, you know, taken care of, and we deserve to take care of ourselves as well. Not being selfish, but I like to give priority to myself. Priority to the things that is comfortable for me. Come on, we're working so hard very very hard and our life is not really um, easy at work especially um, dealing with all that things that we deal in at the hospital you have no idea if you're not a nurse like you you wouldn't really understand only a nurse would understand so that is it guys that is my clinical bag that is my the things that i bring to work i know there's a lot of extra things in there That's it for me but i want to know what's your opinion about it and um, if you want to share what are the things that you also bring at work and you like to bring at work that makes you happy and what are the stuff your favorite things in your clinical bag um, let me know in the comments down below if you find value in this video guys please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content content like this and nursing stuff life abroad Ireland whatever um, thank you so much for everything and I hope to see you soon and I hope to see you soon on my next vlogs guys next week goodbye and continue to be awesome human beings bye